Hello and welcome to the Parc de France. Until uh, 1998 and the opening of Stade de France, the premier sporting venue in Paris and France, and still a, a, a splendid setting, Andy. Yeah, it may hold less than 50,000, which is small by modern super stadium standards, but always a sense of occasion here. It's an historic venue. It could be a terrific game, France against Spain. Any international match is a, a special match for those involved. Nothing quite like playing for your country, Andy. Oh, it's wonderful, Clive. You know, when you pull that shirt on, whether it's for the first time or the 50th time, it doesn't matter. It's still a great thrill. Parc de France, Prince's Park, houses fewer than 50,000 fans, but it's uh, an old traditional stadium full of history and style. Yes, perhaps not as uh, modern as the Stade de France, Clive, but uh, as you say, lots of history, and, and I think that's what makes it a special stadium. Who's the best Spanish international that you've faced in your uh, playing days? You had some great games against them. Certainly did. They've had so many good players, I think, down the years. But uh, I, you remember little Butragueño? He was a top-class finisher. It's Spain who kicked things off. Difficult one to call this. David Silva. Crowd urging the Spanish forward. They're on the attack. Not able to keep the ball. It's loose. Not hanging about with the throw, were they? Who's on the end of this? Oh, the goalkeeper had that. Kante, Dembele, good ball down the flank, Dembele, the French looking dangerous, how often does he win possession back like that, now do they have a long throw specialist, Goalkeeping. Okay. Spain know they're in a game here. They've got every respect for their opponents. Yeah, they have, Clive, and they're going to need to produce some top class stuff to roll this team over. Has a go! Good keeping by Hugo Lloris. Matuidi. Just lost control of the ball there. France on the attack. What can they come up with here? Got a bit sloppy there, didn't concentrate, and they're on the back foot now. That's frustrating. Just as they get in higher up the pitch, they give the ball away. Koke. Now, can they make the most of possession? France coming forward, there may be something on here. 
David Silva. Matuidi. Looking for the telling pass. Oh! oh, what a stop. Great defending. That's him all over. Throw in in uh, France's favour. France have the ball. One or two possibilities here. Took some stopping. They're dominating the game at the moment. There are players out there who can get some length on these. Here comes Spain. It's going to be another throw. Cosciani, Conte, Sidibi, Matuidi, can they make this pressure count? Dangerous cross, defenders there though. Well, he's just given them the ball back. Throw in, very loose. Matuidi. Kante. France looking to threaten. Spoke too soon, attack's broken down. They've got some defending to do now. You know, I was getting excited for a split second there, but it's all come to nothing. Important interception, relieve the pressure. Dembele. Now, how much added time is there going to be? The ball is up. It's two minutes. There's the half time whistle, and we're goalless. Good first half, very evenly contested. You wouldn't know which way this one's going to go in the second period, would you? Very, very tight to call this. You know, maybe we're looking at one of the strikers. To get this second half underway it's a game that's too close to call Kante Matuidi France could do something here Giroud maintaining possession Conte Defence held. Ledesma. Coque. Iniesta. Lost control of it. Giroud. The French looking dangerous. Got a bit carried away there, didn't look. Their play's a bit untidy at times. It is, and it's careless, isn't it? Because they're in a good position there. Each Spanish player finding a teammate, getting their passing going. One of the ball's not short of support. Both teams look to the ref, but it's a, a Spanish throw. Change being made by Spain. Here comes the sub. How many passes have they put together here? Lovely one-touch stuff. Oh, now look at this. Oh, oh that's some stop. The referee has awarded a quarter kick to Spain. Cosciani, Matuidi, 
Trying to pull the defence out wide. France on the attack. What can they come up with here? Look at that, Andy. Close game, this one, but France are ahead. Just beginning to look at the clock now, still 20 minutes. David Silva. Thiago Alcantara. Building the attack patiently. Has teammates in support. In the direction of Pedro. Easily cut out. The pass was telegraphed. Busquets. Spain attacking. Paye. Pass was telegraphed, really. Making use of the ball. Got the ball. Into the final moments now. Just ten more minutes. Pass and move. Pass and move. It's the way they play. Spain have the ball. One or two possibilities here. Keeper says, I'll have that. Clock is ticking much faster for one team than the other. They stood firm. Thiago Alcantara. Pass intercepted. Still they push forward. A late equaliser would be no more than they deserved. Thank you very much, says the goalkeeper. The uh, referee has told the fourth official the uh, time for injuries and stoppages. Kante. He's been robbed. France coming forward. There may be something on here. To Olivier Giroud. So just the one goal for us to talk about here today. The match has finished 1-0. The manager did play down the importance of the uh, result before this game, but nothing like winning to build momentum, Andy. Yeah, I feel it's coming with this team. I feel gradually they're getting stronger and stronger. That's a good performance.